There is a place so peaceful, so stunning, it seems almost unreal. Resting above a bay of islands, carved from forest and farmland, this sanctuary awaits you to play, stay and explore. Welcome to an experience like no other, the Lodge at Cowrie Cliffs. The well, Cowrie Cliffs was a sheep farm when we got it and uh, I didn't really realize what we had. From sheep farm to five-star resort, set along the rolling hills overlooking spectacular Matauri Bay on the North Island's east coast, Cowrie Cliffs is New Zealand's premier vacation destination. 6,000 pristine acres. The inspiration of Julian and Josie Robertson, this is the epitome of luxury, Kiwi style. Translated, that means relaxed, understated and classic. The lodge is reminiscent of a plantation house with stunning views overlooking the golf course and the Cavalli Islands. Inside the tone of this relay and chateau listed property is warm and welcoming. Good morning. This is a place to truly relax, whether you're enjoying morning coffee in the Tiger Room, lunch on the veranda, or pre-dinner cocktails in the lounge. And while the atmosphere may be low-key, the food is anything but. Our award-winning chefs revel in preparing the finest in local meats, seafood and produce. And once a week they orchestrate a grilling extravaganza not to be missed at Pink Beach. Thank you very much. Thank you. Nice to see you guys. <laughs> At the edge of a totara forest, 22 suites are scattered about 11 cottages, tastefully blending into the pastoral landscape. And when it comes to design and decor, no detail was left unattended. For a truly special experience, one might consider a stay in the owner's cottage if Julian and Josie are not in residence. Its two spacious bedrooms are beautifully appointed with all the comforts of home. Josie's artistic touch shines through in original works she made using seashells collected from her walks along Pink Beach. The cottage is framed on one side by a French garden, which enhances this idyllic setting. And on the other side by a terrace, complete with an infinity pool that overlooks the tenth hole. And therein lies the reason why so many guests return to Kauri Cliffs. Golf. New Zealand has the distinction of having the greatest number of golf courses per head of population to anywhere else in the world. I think uh, for four million people we've got well over 400 golf courses so we're well catered for and this is as good as it gets uh, right here at Curry Cliffs. Over 7,100 yards, par 72, designed by noted Florida architect David Harmon. Curry Cliffs offers stunning views of the Pacific from 15 holes. I suppose it'd be a little bit unique playing here and that you've got the sheep and the cattle uh, well, virtually grazing beside some of the greens and fairways here. You know, when you're on a golf course here, it's very peaceful, it's tranquil, and I think that's the way the golf uh, is designed, if you like, and to, to enjoy your experience on a golf course, I think you get a lot more fun out of it when you haven't got planes going overhead or you haven't got houses, motorways, whatever it may be. It's easy to understand why Golf Digest rated Cowrie Cliffs the number one international golf resort destination in the world. Twice, Cowrie Cliffs has been selected to host world-class tournaments. 
local hero Michael Campbell challenged Fred Couples in Shell's wonderful world of golf in 2003, a match won by Fred. And five years later, the inaugural Kiwi Challenge featuring four of professional golf's best young talents came here, with Hunter Mayen prevailing in a playoff over his Ryder Cup teammate, Anthony Kim. Golf is but one of the activities to enjoy at Kauri Cliffs. Set amidst a beautiful fern glen, our world-class spa offers a wide array of treatments to pamper and indulge yourself. But if all this seems too relaxing, the staff will gladly arrange off-site excursions to get your heart racing, whether it's tooling around the dunes of 90 Mile Beach on an ATV quad bike, surf casting along the rugged coast. This fern here, that's fully grown. Only half an inch long. Or a jaw-dropping tour of the world's largest kauri tree, Tane Mahuta. Called Lord of the Forest, this 2,000-year-old giant stands 170 feet tall. Back on the property, the 18th hole is named in honour of Tane, the Maori god. And here too stands the largest privately owned kauri tree in all New Zealand. An appreciation and respect for all things natural. Really, that is the essence of Kauri Cliffs, and it's what Julian and Josie first fell in love with over 30 years ago. We are huge fans of New Zealand. We like the people, we love the scenery. There's just a way of life down here which is uh, quite wonderful. So ask yourself, in planning the vacation of a lifetime, is there really a choice? We invite you to the Lodge at Kauri Cliffs, New Zealand.